It's their job to keep us safe. But the crimes of some and the failings by others to stop them have led more people to ask, what happens when it's a police officer you need protecting from? There was slamming things, throwing things. There's been an incident where I've gone and hidden in the bathroom from him and then he's used a knife on the door trying to break in. He acts as if he's above the law and that's because he is. He is above the law. He knows how to manipulate the system. Their ex-partners are among the hundreds of police officers suspended over allegations of sexual offences and domestic abuse. Those numbers, according to police leaders, are a sign of tough action to remove abusive and corrupt officers. The women who've spoken to us don't know each other and their ex-partners work for different police forces. They've both made allegations of serious psychological and sexual domestic abuse, including rape, which is why we can't identify them. When you listen to their accounts, there are some striking similarities, including in what they say on the response when they reported their allegations to police. What do you make of the way that your complaints about your ex-husband have been dealt with? Disgraceful. And beyond words with what it's taken to even get to the point where he's been investigated for things which the force have known about for, in my eyes, a considerable amount of time. And leaving me feeling as though I'm in a very vulnerable and unsafe position when the police are the ones, in fact, who are meant to be protecting the public. Her ex has now been suspended, but she says police knew about her allegations for at least a year before starting a formal investigation. In that time, he was still a serving West Yorkshire police officer. That's in contrast, she claims, with the response when her ex made counter allegations, accusing her of coercive control. The, the fact is, we, either, we can either do it the easy way or the hard way. The easy way. Police body cams recorded officers threaten her with arrest and saying the door would be put in when they went to seize a phone. So if you give us that, we can arrange a solitary interview. If you don't, you get locked up, so... According to her, she'd previously tried to get police to take the phone because she wanted them to look at her ex's messages. The case against her was later dropped. She's now started legal action against West Yorkshire Police, claiming the events filmed on body cam amounted to harassment and also claiming the force failed to properly investigate when she reported her ex-husband. I was told to just ignore these things, and they were just mind games. It was just brushed off. And yet he makes false allegations about me, with no substance behind these allegations. And yet that is investigated. When we asked West Yorkshire Police about this case, they confirmed a police officer's been suspended, but said because their investigation is ongoing, they can't comment on specifics. The police force told us, they encourage anyone who's a victim of domestic abuse to contact them. And all reports are taken seriously, including those involving West Yorkshire police officers and staff. Are you still scared of him now? Yeah, I'd be petrified to be anywhere near him. What do you want West Yorkshire police to do? Their job. Figures for UK police forces obtained by Channel 4 News using freedom of information laws show as of this summer, there were 334 police officers suspended over sexual allegations. For domestic abuse, it was 133. But most accused officers continue working, some on restricted duties. There have been calls for a change to the rules, making suspension mandatory when there are allegations of rape or domestic abuse. To what extent did his job play a role in the way he behaved towards you? He was always abusive, but he became more abusive once he started working for the police. It really emboldened him. He realized that he could get away with it because he was a police officer. And he is now still a police officer? He is, yes. This woman's ex has been suspended, but she believes the system is stacked against the victims of police perpetrators. It's another case where the accused became the accuser, something highlighted by several reports and reviews as a way police abusers can use their status and knowledge to discredit victims.
The complaint system, how difficult is it to navigate? It's basically impossible. You have no chance if you are a victim of police abuse. And let's also bear in mind that when you have been the victim of a police officer, it's hugely traumatising having it investigated by the police. It's not actually fair to victims to expect them to work with the organisation that represents their perpetrator. So you are fighting an uphill battle from the start because there's almost a sense that, well, it's more important that everybody believes in the police force and buys into policing by consent. We couldn't possibly undermine that model by admitting we've got some perpetrators on our books. Since Cousins and Carrick there have been reviews and promises, the National Police Chiefs Council points to an increase in gross misconduct cases as a sign of progress and says most police officers and staff challenge and report wrongdoing. But the women we've spoken to are not alone in saying the changes needed go well beyond those being made. Claire Fallon with that exclusive report. And if you've been affected by the issues raised, you can seek help by going to channel4.com support.